Hello YouTube, this is BW Builds and today we have actually an old Lego video which I found on my cloud storage. So this was how the Lego Battle of Normandy mock used to look before I started doing the videos. So here was the original design I drew for it. So as you can see, it's relatively detailed. We've got two base plates and some design features. So here's the first base plate. And on this, we have some character building trees. So they're not Lego, but they do look really good. And I will be using those palm trees because I still have them on a different mock. And as you can see, there's the old bunker. The video is quite shaky as back then I didn't used to do any editing and it was all raw footage and stuff. So in a way, these videos used to be a little bit cringy, which is why I deleted some of them. But I'm glad that I did find this to show you how it used to look and kind of how long I've been doing videos as well. This one is originally from 2014. So it's not one of my first videos uploaded, but it is one of my older ones. So as you can see, I didn't manage to fill up the whole base plate at the time. But it just gives you an idea of how long it took me to actually start building this mock and how far it's come from these very early stages of when I was first starting to build these kind of things. Back then I didn't really know about BrickLink too much so I just had to use what I had already and also buy some non-Lego brands to build with. So this second base plate as you can see wasn't finished at the time. So we still had the Lego cabin and the Kobe hideout. We've also got a German white staff car in the back and the American Toys Story Army Men on Patrol Jeep. So this one's got a Lego tree and some detailing to the road which I built at the time. It's also got a gate which I made as well as you can see there. And the sign is actually open on that. So actually I think this isn't too much of a bad mock at first. A lot of people don't have either the money or enough Lego parts to build stuff. So this was not bad considering I didn't have too much Lego at the time. So as you can see, there's detailing under the cars as well. I was going to have a full battle between American and German soldiers, pretty similar to how the mock is now. So this was just a look at the Kobe hideout and the cabin as well. So as you can see, we've got the back of the fence here. We've got like a barbecue with a chicken. And this is where the German soldiers were getting ready to fight. We've got a mortar there, the same one used on the mock. Kobe crate and some other pieces as well. So now I, at this point in the video, decide to open the cabin. As you can see, there's a part of the roof that's been blown up. So originally these two mocks were going to be connected together as shown in the design that I made and I wasn't sure exactly where I was going with this but I think some of the basic ideas were quite good. I like the wall behind the house made out of brown blocks. Here's something else I built. So this was using the fire station base plates and it's like a building as a piece of cover for the soldiers to shoot out of. So there's a mix of Lego and Mega Bloks parts, I think, in that. And then I was going to add all those parts in the boxes to the mock as well. I also used to build these kind of structures out of these green blocks. A lot of them were used up on my Walking Dead mock, as you may have noticed. And I may order more if I decide to build something like this again. So we've got the other one there. And then we've also got this little river I used for my Lego the Spy stop motion. And it's quite a basic design as well. It's got the army men on patrol base plates. I may also build something like this again if I build a river mock. Except this time I would probably film it, fill it with studs. So I'd just like to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting to see how it used to look with the mock. And I'll see you in the next Lego video.